Linux Mint vs. Zoran OS. The eternal clash of user-friendly Linux distributions catering to new and casual users. Today, we embark on a thorough comparison of these two popular distro, Linux Mint and Zoran OS, to help you make an informed decision on which one might be your perfect Linux match. Both Linux Mint and Zorin OS share a common foundation as they are based on Ubuntu. This ensures a reliable and familiar core functionality for both distro. However, the magic unfolds as they each craft a unique and distinct user experience to cater to diverse tastes and preferences. The desktop environment plays a pivotal role in shaping the user experience. Linux Mint offers a trio of desktops to choose from, Cinnamon, XFCE, and Mate. The Cinnamon desktop, in particular, stands out as the hallmark of Linux Mint, providing a comfortable and familiar interface that resonates with users transitioning from Windows. On the other side of the spectrum, Zorin OS boasts a highly tweaked version of GNOME. This customization empowers Zorin OS to adopt the styles of Windows and Mac OS seamlessly, resulting in one of the most visually polished Linux distributions available. It's worth noting that both desktop environments are fully customizable, allowing you to tailor them to your heart's content. Next up, let's discuss the price aspect. As is the norm in the Linux world, Linux Mint adheres to the free and open source philosophy. You can explore and even contribute to the Linux Mint source code on GitHub, embodying the true spirit of community-driven development. Zorin OS, too, adheres to the core principles of open-source software, but it offers a paid variant known as Zorin OS Ultimate. The paid version helps support the ongoing development of the project and comes with additional features out of the box, including exclusive premium desktop layouts inspired by Mac OS, GNOME, and Ubuntu. The Linux community is renowned for its passionate and helpful members. Both Linux Mint and Zorin OS benefit from the extensive Ubuntu sub-community, ensuring that users can find assistance for their queries. However, due to Linux Mint's higher popularity, it enjoys a more substantial and faster community support compared to Zorin OS. Linux Mint's official forum serves as an excellent platform for users to exchange ideas and seek assistance. Zorin OS, too, boasts an active forum where users can seek help but it may take a bit longer to receive responses due to its slightly smaller community size. Now, let's dive into their software collections. Both Linux Mint and Zorin OS include popular open-source applications like Mozilla Firefox for browsing and LibreOffice for productivity tasks. Linux Mint distinguishes itself by offering more pre-installed software while maintaining a relatively smaller footprint. Additional tools like Mozilla Thunderbird, a free and open-source email client, and Transmission, a torrent client, enhance everyday productivity for Linux Mint users. Conversely, Zorin OS comes with its set of Zorin-specific PPAs, providing unique features and enhancements. While these PPAs contribute to Zorin OS's polished appearance, they can be a slight inconvenience in certain situations. In conclusion, both Zorin OS and Linux Mint are solid choices for new Linux users, especially those seeking a seamless transition from Windows or Mac OS. They offer a cost-free and feature-rich alternative, embodying the true essence of open-source software. Before making a permanent switch, you can try out both distro using VirtualBox without making any modifications to your existing system. This way, you can experience the look and feel of each and determine which one aligns perfectly with your workflow. We hope this comprehensive comparison has provided valuable insights into the world of Linux Mint and Zorin OS. Please share your thoughts and preferences in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech-related content. Happy Linux Exploring!